Yeah, first. Women first, by all means. Good morning, man. Good morning. Thank you for tuning in.
Hi, Victor. Thanks for tuning in. Um, we have six seats. I saw you walking because I stuck through and that's where you're walking yeah, oh, You look right, right, right here, right? Right behind, yeah. Well, good, good morning. If we could ask everyone to please, please take your seat so that we can start our program. Well, good morning, Pasadena. My name is George Fromm, and I serve as the president for State of Brothers Markets. It is my pleasure this morning, on behalf of the company, and the 17,000 members of the Stater Brothers family of employees to welcome you to the grand opening celebration and ribbon cutting for our company's first supermarket in the great city of Pasadena. Yeah. You know, I, I had to ask our real estate people, what took us so long to get here, right? Yeah. Yeah. But as the saying goes, good things are definitely worth waiting for, and I know that you will not be disappointed with this store once we open for business in just a few minutes. But before we continue with our celebration this morning, I'd like to take a moment to acknowledge the innocent victims, heroic first responders, and all those impacted by the tragic shooting at the borderline bar and grill, and all those affected by the devastating wildfires wrecking havoc in our state. Our thoughts and prayers are with everyone who is affected. You know, I've had the pleasure to work for State of Brothers for over 46 years, and I have to tell you that I still get excited whenever we open a new store. I also have to admit that I'm especially excited about the opening of this new store, because in addition to it being our first store in the city of Pasadena. It is our 27th supermarket in Los Angeles County and brings our total store count up to 172 store locations. Yeah. Yeah. I have to tell you, if you previously shopped at this store when it was operated by one of our competitors, <laughs> I can tell you that you're in for quite a surprise when you go inside the shop this morning because, quite literally, it doesn't look anything like it did before we completely remodeled the inside of the store. This store is very modern and energy efficient and will provide you with quality merchandise at Stater Brothers everyday low prices and with our great customer service that we are well known for all over Southern California. But before we do open for business, Stater Brothers has a long-standing tradition. At every large company event or meeting and at all store grand openings to honor America with the Pledge of Allegiance, the National Anthem, and we have an invocation. So leading us to the pledge this morning will be your Interim Chief of Police, John Perez, from the Pasadena Police Department. The National Anthem will be be performed by the Marshall Fundamental Second, Secondary School Jazz Ensemble, and after the National Anthem uh, is performed, Reverend Jennifer Cap Chapman from the First United Methodist Church of Pasadena will lead us in the invocation. At this time, I ask that you please stand and remain standing through the invocation. Good morning to everybody. We'll get started with the Pledge of Allegiance. Please place your right hand over your heart, and we begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
thank you for your presence among us in the midst of this joyous occasion today. As our creator, you have placed the earth and all of its fruits under our care so that we would endeavor, endeavor with our labors to ensure that all share in the goodness of your creation. God, we ask that you would pour out your blessings upon this store and on all who enter it, whether they are buyers or sellers, customers or workers. God, we ask that each, in respecting justice and charity, would see themselves as working toward the common good and take joy in contributing to the progress of the earthly city. We ask all of this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Well, Chief Perez, thank you for leading us in the pledge. And uh, Reverend Chapman, thank you for your inspirational words this morning. And I also want to thank the Jazz Ensemble for opening up our day with some lively music. Let's give them a big round of applause. And especially, let's have the young man who did that solo of the Star Spangled Banner, let's have him take a bow. Great job. That is not easy. That is not easy. So as I mentioned earlier, I have over 46 years of service with State of Brothers Markets. The next person I have the pleasure to introduce is a relative newcomer to our company, having joined our State of Brothers family a little over five years ago. But don't let his short tenure at State of Brothers fool you. He is a seasoned veteran of the grocery business with over 45 years of experience. We are thrilled to have him leading our Stater Brothers team as our CEO. Please give a warm welcome, especially since he's my boss, to our, to our Stater Brothers, to the leader of our Stater Brothers family, Mr. Pete Van Helden. Pete? Yay. He's pretty good at sucking up, isn't he? <laughs> well, good morning, Pasadena. Good morning. I, um, got to tell you, you know, we don't often get the privilege of getting up every morning and starting our day by opening a new store. And so let me just tell you, our State of Brothers team is so excited to be here. So I too just want to throw out a big, big thank you to this city and all of you for not only joining us this morning to celebrate this grand opening, but I know supporting us for the many years to come. I want to tell you just a quick story. You know, for us, the excitement of this project really started on May 1st myself and some of the team came here to the city and we met with many residents at the Longfellow Elementary Auditorium where we had a town hall meeting and maybe some of you here today, in fact I think a couple of you were for sure and um, at that meeting we took the time to listen to what the residents of the city asked for. In fact on top of that I know uh, some of you even filled out a survey card that was distributed around the city to give us your ideas. Well, I want you to know that for the last six months, we have been working so hard to complete everything that you asked for and, and do everything that we possibly could. And I'm very proud to tell you that I think we got it all done. So let me give you a couple of examples. So for one, you asked for safe, dedicated walkways to both Allen Avenue and to Belford Avenue. Done. You asked for more one-way driveways to make it safer in the parking lot. Done. You asked for new landscaping that conserves water. Done. You asked for increased security presence. Done. You asked for improved access for customers with disabilities. Done. You asked for brighter, more efficient lighting in the parking lot. Done. You also asked for a new enclosed trash dumpster in the back. Well, not quite done. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, but give us another month or so. We have some other work we're going to do in the back. And we'll have that done as well, I promise. Now that's just some of the work that we completed on the outside of the store, but wait until you see what we've done to the inside. We literally tore the place down to the bare studs and we spared no expense with the interior. Key upgrades include an updated store layout, new flooring, energy efficient LED lighting, and a decor scheme reflecting Pasadena's culture. And I'm also certain you'll be pleased with our extensive array of gourmet 
natural, and organic products, in addition to an assortment of specialty foods to accommodate vegan, vegetarian, and gluten-free diets. You'll also find a wide range of services, which include full-service meat, seafood, service deli, and bakery departments, in addition to sushi and fresh-cut fruit prepared in the store. Now, I know it has been a long wait, and many of you have been politely reminding us <laughs> that you've been without a full-service supermarket in this neighborhood. And I agree that six months is a long time, so I, I just want to say again from the entire State Brothers team, thank you. Thank you for your patience and thank you for your support. But now is a new day, and starting today, our new role is to work on earning your repeated business. And while we are very proud of this new facility, I want you to know that it's not just what you find in the store that differentiates us from our competition. It's really who you'll find in our store that really makes the big difference. We take great pride in our people, or our family, as we say. Our company has enjoyed over 82 years of success in the very competitive Southern California marketplace, and there's no doubt that longevity in this market has been achieved through the extraordinary efforts of our people, not through machines. I can assure you, you will not find in this store any self-checkout registers or any kiosk to take your order. Nope. Instead, you're going to find friendly people who are ready to provide you with a shopping experience that you deserve, but may not expect. Our store teams are proud union members, and we are pleased to provide them with competitive pay and great benefits. And we believe the path to happy customers is through happy employees. And besides employ, uh, supporting our employees, Stater Brothers also has a long tradition of supporting the local chambers of commerce, and we work very closely with the local city officials to make projects like this come to life. I am so pleased that several community representatives have taken time out of their day to celebrate with us this morning, so please allow me to introduce them. First of all, it is my distinct pleasure to introduce and welcome to the podium the Honorable Mayor of Pasadena, Terry Tornick. Okay. Well, thank you and, and good morning. Um, this, this really is a great day for Pasadena. We are delighted, obviously, whenever a new business comes to town. But there's something about a supermarket um, that really is unique among and between the various businesses that we have because the supermarket is really kind of a hub for the neighborhood. I know this neighborhood because when my kids were growing up, we lived on Casa Grande Street. So this is, uh, and we did our shopping at the not named uh, supermarket <laughs> this, this location. Um, but but I'll tell you the 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 kind of attention that that Stater Brothers has uh, has applied to planning and opening this store, uh, the listening that they've done, uh, that, that Margaret McAustin helped to my colleague Margaret McAustin helped to uh, organize. Uh, really is reflected, and we had a, the opportunity to go inside and, and get a sneak preview yesterday, and you're going to be amazed. The market looks like it's doubled in size. It, it hasn't actually, but it feels like it has. And the innovation and the care with which this venerable company, this is not a brand new company, it's new to Pasadena, but clearly uh, it's a venerable company with a great reputation. <coughs> but they've listened and tried to apply lessons learned locally, and for that, I'm really grateful. So I'm, I'm thrilled to be here. I am, am uh, on behalf of the City Council and the City of Pasadena. We couldn't be more delighted. Six months, I know, feels like it was a long time when you're without a supermarket, but really, in the world of development and construction, it's like lightning. So they've, they've really done an extraordinary job. We welcome them. We pledge our support to them. We know they're going to be successful here in Pasadena. And uh, I, I hope that you enjoy this, this store very much, and it makes the kind of contribution to this neighborhood that I think it will. Thank you, and welcome to Pasadena. Thank you. I just can't say enough about how the mayor and the city has worked with us to help get this done. So again, thank you, and thank you for being here today. Now, we also know that a strong Chamber of Commerce is vital to the community. So, ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming to the podium the President and CEO of the Pasadena Chamber of Commerce, Paul Little. 
I, I am very excited to be here um, for several reasons. It's wonderful to have Stater Brothers uh, opening here to add to the diversity of opportunities that the community has to shop for groceries. Having another, uh, um, another brand in Pasadena is good for all of us. I'm especially happy about it because I live about a half a mile that way, and this is my old grocery store. Um, I also have it on good authority. Margo Morales, the, uh, the, the expert about District 2, told me how beautiful the store is. Um, and and um, it, it's just really wonderful to have a business opening up here in Pasadena um, again and revitalizing the store for the neighborhood. Um, I do need to take a moment. We have a couple of chamber board members who are here with us. I want to recognize Valerie Prince is here. Um, John Liano is here. Um, they're also future customers. Valerie lives about a quarter mile that way, and John's walking distance that way. Uh, and Mike Dantuano is here, and Mike came with his wife Susan, who's here with their shopping bags. So, right. that's, that's, that's how excited we all are to have a store opening. Um, so again, welcome. We look forward to working with you. Anything at all that you need from us, just please let us know, and we're very excited about it. Thank you. Thanks, Colin. And thank you for bringing all these new customers, too. We're pretty excited about that. Uh, we also today have a respected and dedicated public leader who is here to celebrate with us. So please give a big round of applause for State Senator Anthony Portentino excuse me, of the 25th Senate District. There's an old saying, if you build it, they will come. Right? This is awesome. This I have to tell you, I've been to about 4,000 ribbon cuttings in my career, and this is the biggest crowd I've ever seen at a ribbon cutting. So, you know, leave it to Pasadena and State Brothers to set the record on a store opening. And right in time for Thanksgiving, right? All of you have been waiting to do your shopping, right? Because you knew this was going to open, so you're going to storm, I shouldn't say storm the wall, you're going to enter in respectfully and meet the wonderful employees that we were described and have wonderful dialogues and buy lots of turkeys, right? Right? Yeah. All right, just checking to make sure everybody's awake this morning. But as your state senator, it's great to be here in the wonderful city of Pasadena. Awesome leadership in this community. Wonder, yeah, I was just in another city the other day, and they were talking about the lack of citizen participation in local government. And I said, you ought to go to Pasadena because it is a city, that it's a community that embraces its citizen participation. It's a community that embraces feedback. And as you heard the CEO, having a corporate entity that's respectful and also embraces that dialogue that Pasadena is so known for, I think this is going to be a successful place. So on behalf of the California State Senate, I'd like to present you with a state certificate. I hope it's the first one that goes on a wall somewhere. Um, on behalf of the California State Senate, I join the city of Pasadena in celebrating this happy occasion. Your market offers quality products in a friendly environment. I love that word, friendly. Congratulations, signed State Senator Anthony Portentino. and a yeah. photo, <laughs> but hide my belly. All right, last one. Last one. Right here. All right, three, two, one, perfect, and good. Thank you. Thank you, Senator. By the way, opening for Thanksgiving was planned. Huh? Right. Not quite. We also have an attendance Enrique Robles representing the U.S. Congresswoman Judy Chu of the 27th Congressional District. And I'd also like to acknowledge Hector Rodriguez, who is here on behalf of Assemblyman Chris Holden from the 41st Assembly District. And representing the 5th District County Supervision, Kathy Barger, we have Kristen Daly with us here today. Wow, you got a fan club, right? Good. So I just want to thank all of you for really working hard and making this community a terrific place to live and soon to operate. I'm also pleased to introduce our landlord, who has been a great partner on this project 
and on our store that we have in Simi Valley. So please join me giving a warm welcome to John Allen. Good morning. It's a wonderful day in the neighborhood. Uh, Pasadena holds a, a big place in my heart because this is the first place uh, I worked when I was in the district attorney's office and I really enjoyed working in Pasadena. It meant a lot to me. 45 years ago, my father, Albert Allen, and his partner, Al Zimmerman, shared a vision inspired by the beauty of this neighborhood. You know, it's one thing to dream, it's another thing to see that dream come into reality. Al and my dad saw an opportunity to develop this property into a first-class supermarket for the local community. They went to the city of Pasadena and proposed building a supermarket. The city embraced their idea, and the two men delivered. They built the supermarket and signed the deal with the other grocery store to operate the supermarket. Al, my dad's partner, was quite proud of this market. In fact, he would pull his car into the shopping, into the parking lot here, and he would just sit in the car and watch customers come and go and come and go. It had a big place in his heart. In fact, it was his favorite of, of many properties that they owned. For just under a half century, the other market has been our partner in providing this community with a superior shopping experience. And I thank them for, for that past half century. When the original lease of this property came to an end, we decided to, to open a new store with Stater Brothers. Why Stater Brothers? We have enjoyed working with Stater Brothers in our Simi Valley property. When Santa Brothers took over operating the Simi property, they